Fuck off, cushion. How is it going, Yutarik here, and welcome to a very important video. Alright, so this is an unboxing and an installation of the GTX 980, and comparing that to my previous card, the 660 Ti, but before I get into that, I want to talk about something else. So if you want to just jump ahead to that part, click somewhere around here, and I'm sure I'll put an annotation in to take you straight to that. Anyway, if you're one of the people that actually give a shit about what I want to say, then welcome. Thanks for staying. You look really special today. So, the important stuff. Now, if you have not been paying attention um, to my streams lately, to the highlights that I upload onto my videos, or even to like any of my tweets, then you've probably missed out that there have been some changes. So, on my stream, at the top left, there's an icon there, there's a logo. That logo is overclockers.co.uk. What is Overclockers? Well, Overclockers is a reselling website that has been around for a long time and they sell PC parts and PCs themselves. In fact, they sell so much shit on there I can't even list all the shit that they sell. But basically, it is a massive hub for where you can buy PC equipment, hardware, software, audio shit, you know, chairs as well. Um, and they're amazing, I've been using them since 2006. So that's why you know that this is kind of cool. But what I have to say is that I got sponsored by them. This isn't a partnership or an affiliation, this is a sponsorship. This has never happened to me before and I'm really proud to say that I've reached a point where a company as big as Overclockers wants to sponsor me. So I've been super psyched about this news lately and um, yeah, I'm proud to you know show off their uh, logo and help tell people about them so that they can get more traffic as well, you know? Now, as I said, I have been using Overclockers since about 2006. I used to use a website called aria.co.uk and that was for my first actual uh, GPU upgrade. I believe I bought a 550... Five, an ATI Radeon back then, because it wasn't AMD, it was ATI. Uh, 5550. Uh, I don't even know what the card looks like anymore, but still, that was my first upgrade. And then after that, my brother introduced me to Overclockers after his like second year or after his first year at university. And I've been using it ever since. On par, I have been using it with Amazon, I will be honest with that, because sometimes Amazon has cheap prices, but they... Um, usually overclockers will have a really good price not to mention when you order from them you do get a selection of sweets which is just a throw-in that they do and it's very cute but I just wanted to say thank you to overclockers for sponsoring me I want you guys to check that out with the links down below in the description if you ever want PC parts go to them. If you ever want advice for PC stuff, I don't know the most about PC shit, but I, I know like roughly a lot, so I can help you, like I can I can take down my PC, I can put it back together, I can buy new parts for it uh, with my own research and checking stuff to make sure it's the right thing, you know, I can do that stuff myself, but there are sometimes like things, like really intricate things, like how to overclock something, like how to take this power f further. Uh, what's the best option for using this with this and this compatibility? Sometimes I have issues with that, but if you ever want PC advice, I'm part of KB Mod. Um, one thing to do would be go to their website, and if you wanted to look at building PCs, you know, go to their buyer's guide. They got a really good selection of, you know, low, mid, and high, and enthusiast uh, level PCs for, uh, you know, the, the what they think is the best uh, parts of the month. So if you ever want any advice, go to them, go to me, or just, you know, go to Overclockers and send them an email. And they do ship worldwide, by the way, that is important to remember. Anyway, let's get into this video about the graphics card. So, the card I have is a Galax GTX 980 SoC 4GB edition. It has got 4GB of GDR... Uh, GDDR5, it has DVI port, it has an HDMI port, and three Display 1.2 ports. It also runs with 2048 CUDA cores. It's got a base clock of uh, 1228 and a boost clock of 1329. I have no idea what the majority of this means, by the way, and I'm just quoting you the specs. 
So, the memory specs are 4 gigs standard memory config. It has a memory speed of 3505 millihertz. Memory interface width of 256 bits GDDR5. And a memory bandwidth of 224 gigabytes per second. It uses the OpenGL 4.4 and has a four-way SLI option. So if you wanted four of these, you can do it. Uh, the supported technologies are DirectX 12. It can multi-monitor full displays if you want it to, and it also has a maximum digital resolution of 4096 by 2160. The maximum VGA resolution, however, is only 2048 by 1536. The length of the card is uh, 2, uh, 298 millimeters. The height of the card is uh, 124.3 millimeters and the width is 41.5 millimeters so the card itself was quite long um, and I've, I think that's actually the biggest card I've ever seen so lastly to end it off the power specs of this card are considerably better than the previous 660Ti that I used. The C660, uh, 660Ti used 150 watts. The 980, however, uses 165 watts. Now, if you compare that proportionately to its power of what this card does compared to the 660, that's amazing. That's a huge drop in power. So, the minimum system power requirement is 500 watts, though, and the power connectors are two 8 pins instead of two six pens, which is what I was used to. So for that, I actually had to uh, take out the cables, store them away because they were part of the semi-modular uh, power supply, and then put new eight pin uh, adapters. Well, as I was talking on the end of this video, my camera died, not sure why. But anyway, thank you so much Overclockers for sending me the 980. Um, I hope that this was slightly informative. I'm not a professional unboxer or a reviewer, so I'm not Linus Tech Tips, so I can't give you the information uh, that he can. I cannot give you intelligence as he does uh, about this sort of topic. But still, I tried my best. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, thank you, Overclockers. Thank you, Galax. I'll see you on another video some other time.